No stage for Meg's show. Nick Bullen honors King Charles due to his coronation ban, ordering Meg to make royal family relief. Nick Bullen, co-founder of the True Royalty TV, explains why the Duchess of Sussex staying in Montecito with her children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, at King Charles' coronation is best for the British royal family. Meghan Markle's absence from King Charles' special day is believed to have relieved the whole British royal family. Prince Harry will attend his father's coronation, putting an end to months of rumors regarding his acceptance following the publication of his explosive memoir, Spare. His wife and their two young children will remain at the family's California residence. Quote, I think there is a quiet relief that Meghan isn't coming because it avoids so many situations, True Royalty TV co-founder Nick Bullen told Fox News Digital. It avoids all the cameras being trained on Meghan when it's the King's Day. People would be wanting to see what their reactions are. Do people give side-eye to each other in front row? I think the fact is that she's not coming, and that's a good thing. The fact that Prince Harry is coming is a good thing. The show, His Majesty's Coronation, Behind the Throne, featuring a panel of royal experts and insiders who will delve deeply into the customs surrounding the coronation, will debut on the streaming platform on April 21st. On May 6th, in London's Westminster Abbey, the king will be crowned. He had to come, Bullen explained. This is his father's biggest moment. It's what his father waited his whole life for. It would have been just rude not to turn up, let alone lacking in dignity and style. The royal family, the household, the nation. Everyone is really pleased he's coming. He had to be part of it. The date of the coronation coincides with Archie's birthday, giving the former American actress an excuse to stay behind in the States. Bullen said that following the six-part Netflix docuseries detailing the couple's decision to quit royal duties, the 41-year-old made the right decision to skip the celebrations. Following the publication of Spare, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex confirmed that they were asked to vacate their home in Britain. Frogmore Cottage, a royal residence on the grounds of Windsor Castle, was the couple's main residence before they gave up royal duties and moved to wealthy coastal city of Montecito. Bullen also said Markle's appearance would have only fueled the ongoing royal soap opera. It's definitely better that Harry's flying solo because it avoids any awkward moments with family members, Bullen explained. It's going to be tough enough. I don't think Prince William and Harry will have any meaningful conversation. Harry's made it pretty clear that he intends to fly in and fly out and wants to be back that day for Archie's birthday. So the opportunities for them to speak to each other will be very minimal, if any. I don't think Harry's part of the procession. I don't think he will have any major role. He's unlikely to be on the balcony, so there's going to be very, very little interaction. They will travel in different vehicles, so there are not any moments where they need to come together at all. But I think Megan not coming makes it a lot easier for everybody because it doesn't become the Megan show, Bullen continued. And even if Megan didn't want it to be the Megan show, she's bright enough to realize that if she turns up, cameras will be trained on her to see how she's reacting. Cameras will be trained on Kate Middleton to see how she's looking at Meghan. How does Queen Camilla look at Meghan? Do the King and Meghan have any conversations? It all becomes about what happened with Meghan, so I think it's a good thing that she's not coming. Bullen said he is not surprised that Markle decided not to join her husband. He said that if Meghan had been in the room, it would have been more difficult for everybody. I think there will be sadness on everybody's part, but at the same time, there will be relief that the story is not about her, Bullen continued. Lots of people told her, and Harry, responsible for this family breakdown, they've taken a position that has been very difficult for them to come back from. And it's been very difficult for the Windsors to step into. I know for a fact that the King and Harry have spoken, and I know for a fact that the King has done whatever he can to try and facilitate the rebuilding of a relationship, but the Sussexes have made their bed, and they're lying in it very clearly.